average them to average function in Excel. And then we just drag it across. Let's do uh, it like this so that you can see the So now what you want to do is you want to calculate the pressure coefficient static pressure minus free stream static divided by total minus free stream static so is equal to here your only variable is this es which is these values or you just calculated the average of that okay this value then all of the other values are constant which means you have to put them in dollar signs so the first is p infinity which is this free stream static pressure and you just press f4 to wrap that around dollar sign. That means that when you drag your calculations, it will not drag this value, it will remain constant. So this is your upper side. And then so then your total pressure, you take your total pressure as P24 for, from the rake. Why we do that? So P24 is the the most up, up, upper uh, you can say pressure reading. Why we do the most upper one? Because you assume that one hasn't been interfered with too much because it's away from the body. Yeah, so we need to take free stream. So ideally, what we would do is we would just have a pressure transducer just at the top of the tunnel, but we don't have that right now. So we just assume that the one that is farthest away from the momentum deficit, that would be uh, so this. And you also need to wrap it around with F4. Then minus again free stream static pressure. This. Then you just drag it. But don't drag it for the vertical position, like the last table, because uh, coefficient of pressure is only needed for first first two tables. this is your CP then what you need to do is you need to do this integration in order to get CN so in that case you first so you have to use your trapezium rule and it is if you look at the board here it is written here so you get your delta X your de X the difference between x values which is the chord uh, which is horizontal position but in terms of chord lengths okay x over c and then you add your y values divide by 2 so you take the average of your cp the, the, the cp row that i have calculated right now you just take an average of that so what, what you're doing is you're dividing your you're dividing your whole into small sections like this and then you're taking area of each trapezium so this is the formula for trapezium area of trapezium okay so you just do that and then you add them up so first you need delta x which is this minus this okay Then you multiply with CP, average of two CP values. So you have to take this plus this, and then you just multiply by 0.5 to take the average, or divide by two, same. Then you drag it across, but be sure to not include the last point. And why is that? Yeah. Because if you look at this one, that last one has already been accounted for. It's 
This is your these areas of small uh, uh, trapeziums. Now you need to add them up to do the integration. So you so this is C n, and you just take the sum of it. Total CN is just lower minus upper, which is is equal to lower minus upper. Okay, and now from CN you can get CL by CN cos alpha. Now here your angle, this is your angle. Your angle is in degrees, so you now need to first convert it to radians. So the way you do that in Excel is you just use the radians function to get the angle in radians, and then you will see n would be C n multiplied by cos of this, and it is exactly the same because your angle is approximately zero. So your cos alpha should be around one. So which means your CN and CL will be approximately same. Yeah. So, so should it do the? Yeah. So you you should first do the CL. Then when you finish it, then we can do the. Continue to the plug. Okay. Uh, let's get yeah. started. Then.